brother's strong and tough heavy-duty sewing machine caught my attention when my project list started featuring lots of layers of canvas. This machine may not have all the glitzy bells and whistles, but it's got everything I need and it's tough. I've been using this machine for several weeks as we edit this video and it hasn't slowed down once, so the motor's got more than enough power. So far all of my brother machines have come with a goodie bag full of stuff that I actually use. Even brother's plastic accessories seem to be made a little better than everybody else's. And they even give us a little plastic pouch to keep all that stuff in, though I don't know why. Seeing as how we got this storage compartment right in the sewing machine, I'm going to dump everything out of the little plastic bag and put the stuff in there. The three adjustment dials across the top of the machine have a fine ratchet in them. They're not hard to turn by any means, but they are hard to bump and accidentally change the setting. Something else I've come to expect from Brother is that when you turn one of the controls, it actually changes things in a predictable way. I like that the almost automatic bobbin winding system is out in the open where I can get at it, because I wind up filling a lot of bobbins. And you can tweak how full the bobbin actually gets by adjusting the angle of that chrome eccentric next to it. The strong and tough machine comes with this lay down spool holder, but I use the standalone one so you can use the really big spools. When I do actually find time to do a job, I don't want to be digging around looking for more thread. This knob on the side is used to change between the stitches available. I know the stitch count isn't real high with this machine, but it's way more than what I've ever needed for sewing. One thing I have noticed is that regardless of what stitch pattern you're using, this machine seems to produce them a lot more crisp than a lot of other machines I've tried. And a range of adjustment for all the stitches lets you fine tune them for your job. A lot of these stitches are very strong, but lets you add a little decorative touch to your project. Threading the strong and tough machine is easy, especially if you follow the graphics that they print right on the machine for you. So far I haven't messed up threading this machine, which is unusual for me. Threading this machine isn't totally automatic, but it is really easy once you get used to doing it a little bit. You do have to be careful and grab this little loop and pull it through. One of the really nifty things about modern day sewing machines is the LED lights the smart ones use. LED lights tend to be bright without the glare. I'd have been really disappointed if brother wouldn't have used their laid on bobbin system. You do have to hold a little bit of tension on the bobbin when you pull a string through this track. But after that it cuts it off where you need it, put the cover back on and you're ready to go. You don't have to pull a bobbin thread up or anything. I like to think brother did this just for me. I know this seems like a small thing, but Brother includes their automatic buttonhole system. There's nothing real shiny or fancy about this system, but it does make buttonholes that are right size and they work very well. Most important is they don't need any input from me. The strong and tough machine shuts off when it gets done, then you get to pull out the material and see how nice a buttonhole you just made, even if you don't know how you did it. I actually did this a few times because the buttonholes kept coming out the right size and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just luck. All of the buttonholes were the same size, so it's true, brother's way smarter than I am. This little screw on the back of the strong and tough machine lets you adjust to how the buttonhole is made a little bit. This sounds like something for people that know how a buttonhole is supposed to be, so I just leave it alone. Brother also does a really good job with their instruction manuals, so you're not dependent on me to explain things to you. So if you're looking for a strong and tough sewing machine, this should be a no-brainer. Aside from the strong and tough thing, this is a very versatile machine. It's smooth running, has plenty of power, and it's very easy to use. And if you look at the full review on our website, you'll see that it doesn't cost a ton either. And that last part might tick off the people at Singer a little bit, but don't get over it.